Stan Jibalisco here, proprietor and operator of amateur radio station W1GV, Whiskey One Good Vibrations. The date, May 15th, 2014, the Ides of May, 2.45 p.m., Mountain Daylight Time, which translates into 2045 Zulu. I am listening to the W1AW code practice session on 15 meters. <clears throat> I'm happy to report that they're coming in just fine here on this band. Let's go down to <clears throat> the 18 megahertz band. Bear in mind that it's only two hours past high noon solar time here in the Black Hills of South Dakota. So it's a daylight path all the way to Newington, Connecticut, where this station is. Interestingly, <clears throat> now there's a, a phase shift keying signal right near W1AW. I suspect that they are not aware that W1AW is there, but they're not particularly creating a big interference problem. This is one one of the uh, attributes of having a CW filter that's so sharp. Note, I believe that's 500 hertz wide, 250 hertz wide, 100 hertz wide. This is the ICOM IC746 Pro with digital signal processing. You know the receivers that they've got these days <clears throat> with their digital signal processing and everything like that are so much better than the olden days. I remember those venerable old receivers. Is there going to be a video I ever do where, where I don't use the word venerable anymore? Let's check out this band the 12 meter band. See if there's any activity. I didn't hear anything. I did not hear W1AW on 10 meters. We can always go down and check the chaos band. In particular, that frequency, channel 11. I don't hear anything there. If, uh, if this band were open, I'm pretty sure I'd hear those stations from down in the southeastern USA. Well, no, here we go. So this, uh, this band is open. Let's go back up to... Um, the 10 meter amateur band. A very weak signal. <clears throat> Little bit of noise on this uh, band. Let's go down to 21 megahertz and see what's on here besides W1AW, uh, right around 21.034, I heard some DX activity earlier today. Yeah, here we go. A pileup. <clears throat> I don't know what that's all about, but I'll check that out a little later. So 15 meters is nicely open. Let's see what we can find on this band. Well, there's some signals, all right. Nothing real spectacular, though. Nothing like the opening back in late February, early March, when 10 meters was really hopping, and I went out to Wyoming to look at the Long Wave Ranch to check on that property and also to stay at a 
neat little place, well, a neat big spread called the Stargazer Ranch in Matitsi. I believe it was $700 a week to stay in this really cool place. Look, uh, look up my Stargazer Ranch videos. Uh, I don't have them in a playlist anymore, I don't think. I think they're in the Winter Wandering, uh, Winter Wandering the West or something like that. I've, I've renamed all my playlists to try to make them a little more relevant to the content. Now, see, I have a lot of human-made noise at this location, but I really like this house, you know. It'd be awful hard to move out of this house. When you get to be 60 years old, you know, you kind of want a solid... You want to feel like you're anchored a little bit. At least I do. Nothing like the days when I used to just hop in the old vehicle and drive from one ocean to the other with everything I had in the trunk. Stan Jibalisco signing off. Uh, back to the 15 meter amateur band. I think I'm going to check out this um, check out this stuff here and see see if I can maybe raise any of these people. I'll have to change my antenna though. This 22 foot vertical is a my transmitter won't go into it. Impedance is too high. You know, 22 feet is an exact half wavelength on 15 meters, and I guess the feed point impedance is so high that the uh, that the matching network inside of this radio just can't just can't deal with it. So I'll have to pull some of those pieces of tubing out and shorten it up. Maybe I'll make a video of that. It's kind of a neat arrangement. Stan Jibalisco, proprietor and operator of amateur radio station W1GV. Signing off for now until the next uh, band watch. 73 and so long.